Hi guys, I'm here today with another video. This time it's going to be on another movie type kind of topic. I'm going to do a video talking to you guys about movies that I think deserved more hype than what they got when they came out. So if you'd like to see which movies I'm talking about, then please keep watching. Every movie I'm going to be mentioning is going to be my opinions. If you don't like any of these movies and you're like, why would those movies get hype? Then that's completely up to you. But I personally loved all of these video all of these movies that came out and I just feel like they need some better recognition. So there might be some movies that on here that you might um, be interested in seeing because there's some of them are with really good acting and things like that. And I think it's just a good thing to talk about. The first movie I want to talk about is a movie called It's Kind of a Funny Story. And this movie came out. I believe in 2010, if it's not 2010 it might be a little bit before that, but I believe it was 2010. It's about a boy, I don't remember what the actor's name is, I'm going to leave the movie poster somewhere in the video as well as if it's available on Netflix for you to look at. Um, some of them might not be on Netflix or anything, but um, I will give you as much detail as I can on in the description. But Basically, again, it's this it's this teenage boy. He has, like, a lot... Of, he's very stressed out, um, dealing with stuff going on in his life, and he decides to check himself... Well, he didn't really decide to check himself into a hospital, but he went up to a hospital... He went into the hospital and just said he felt suicidal, and they kind of just checked him in to, um... The... Like, the, um... I guess, like, the psych ward a little bit. Not Not that way of saying it, but... I guess like the the mental uncertainty side of the hospital. I don't know what it's called and I can't think of what it is. But it's like a really funny movie like Zach Galifianakis is in it, Emma Roberts. Um, I don't know if anybody else is in it that's like that well known. Um, but it's such a funny movie. I just think it's such a funny storyline. There's a lot of like comedic moments. There's some serious stuff, but it's a very good movie and I think it's worth checking out because I just don't think it got enough hype. The movie is He's Just Not That Into You. It came out, I believe, in 2009. It has like an all-star cast, Ben Affleck, Jennifer Aniston, Bradley Cooper, Scarlett Johansson. There's a lot of people in this movie. It's a, ver it's a very like um, well-known cast kind of movie. It's it's about all these little storylines that kind of just connect with each other um, within the storylines. A lot of people don't like movies like that, so that's, I think, why it didn't get enough hype because it's just like some kind of, it's viewed as some kind of like cheesy movie, um, like where there's stuff that's just like, oh, that would never happen, that would never happen, this, that kind of thing. But I just thought it was a really good movie. It was something that I always used to watch whenever I was like really upset about like my relationship status or like being single, things like that. That would always kind of cheer me up in a way. And I was like, after I watched it, I would be like, oh, there's hope. I'm going to find somebody in my life. So I would watch that very frequently. I always really enjoyed um, that movie. I haven't watched it in a while, but I always thought it deserved a little bit more hype than what it got. Another movie is Seven Pounds, and this was with Will Smith and Rosario, da Ro Rosario Dawson. Um, I can't really reveal too much about it due to the fact that if I do, it will kind of give away too much of the, um, the storyline. But basically, it's about this man who, he, something bad happened and he wanted to just repay people, um, by doing something good for them. And that's kind of all I can really reveal. It came out, I believe, in 2007 or 2008. I will, um, again, leave a movie poster and any kind of information in the description. But it's a, it's a very sad movie. It's a tearjerker, that's for sure. It's very dramatic, but it's also, like, heartwarming at the same time. It's just, it's a great movie. And it got no Academy Award uh, recognition. I don't believe it received any awards, for that matter. I just think there's a lot of movies that deserve a little bit more credit especially with the acting in it. it like some people are just like oh well the movie sucked it's like yeah but the acting was still good but I think this movie was just great all around another movie I want to talk about is Into the Wild this movie came out I believe when I was 15 16 something like that but I just watched it for the first time in May and 
it was with Emile Hirsch, and I believe that was the only well-known actor in the movie. I think... I think so. Um, I spoke about this briefly, I believe in my May favorites or my June favorites. I can't remember where I mentioned it, but it's such a great movie. Um, it's about this man who uh, graduated from college. It's based on a true story. Um, he graduated from college. He was supposed to go to law school, but out of nowhere one day he just cut off all contact with his family, with everybody in his life, and he like ditched his car, um, burned his money, and just like completely went off the grid and just traveled his way to um, Africa, that kind of thing. Not Africa, sorry, Alaska. And it was just such a great movie and again Emil Hirsch did such a great job. I thought he deserved some um, Oscar buzz but he got no Oscar buzz from this movie so um, it was just a little upsetting in that form but I do know it's like a cult favorite amongst people who are especially like hipsters. It's a very like hipster-ish type of movie but I just think not a lot of people have seen it. I know it is on Netflix so I think you guys should go check it out. This movie is called 50-50 and it's with Joseph Gordon-Levitt and Seth Rogen and I believe that's the those are the only two main people like those are the only people who I'm like really familiar with as actors. Um, it's about this like I guess a mid 20 to late 20 year old man who um, you know is very active, very healthy and all of a sudden one day he finds out he has like spine can- like a, I think it's spinal cancer and his friend is Seth Rogen and like Seth Rogen is- Seth Rogen is always playing like the same character in every movie. He's like very goofy, a stoner, like that kind of type of vibe and that's exactly what he was in this movie. It was kind of more of a comedic drama filled movie but it's a- it basically 50-50 means like the type of cancer he found out he had. It's like 50% chance of living and 50% chance of dying. So it's a very like scary thing. It's a very very good movie. There's definitely some sad points. There's a lot of funny points and it's just a great movie and I don't- that movie received absolutely no Oscar buzz as well which kind of shocked me. I thought Joseph Gordon-Levitt was amazing in it. Things like that. Um, that I do not believe is on Netflix but um, I don't believe it is at all actually. But it's such a great film. You should definitely go check it out because I just think it's amazing. This next movie is called Jennifer's Body. This movie came out when I was 19? Yeah, so I think it was 2009 it came out. I remember going to see it with my friend Monica. Um, it's about this girl, like it's with the, uh, what's her name? Megan Fox who like, come on, we all had like a crush on Megan Fox back then. I still think she is like a beautiful woman but um, it's with her, it's with Amanda uh, Seyfried, is, I can't, I don't, Amanda Seyfried? Seyfried? I don't know, the one from Mean Girls that played Karen, the dumb one. Um, it's with her and I believe that's it as well. Oh, JK, uh, JK Simmons was in it as well. But it's just, it's the same woman who made the movie Juno, so it's that same kind of humor. She wrote the script of Jennifer's Body. Jennifer's Body, okay, so there's a girl named Jennifer and Needy. I think that was the name of the Amanda Seyfried's character. Yes. Okay, so Jennifer and Needy. It's a- it was deemed as like a dark comedy movie. So there's this girl, she finds- like she winds up having like some incident where she becomes like this- a, a demon. She- like she had like a demon inside her so she used to feed on boys or she would like feed on boys, that kind of thing. It's like um- it's like a weird kind of storyline. It's just like- I don't know, but I love it. I thought it was a great movie, but everybody seemed to not like it and I don't know why because I just thought it was funny. Like, I mean, people are looking like, oh, the acting sucked, this, that, but it was a funny movie and I actually really liked the soundtrack from the movie too. I had the soundtrack illegally downloaded a long time ago and I was obsessed with it. There's like a lot of like Panic at the Disco, um, um, I don't remember, there's a uh, Death Cab for Cutie I believe had a song. Um, things like that. Um, but it was such a great film. I loved that film, but everybody seemed to not like it. The last movie I have on here is the called Just Friends. It's with Ryan Reynolds, Anna Faris, and I can't remember the name of the girl that's in it. 
but it was such a funny movie. It's like this this kid who was really geeky in high school and was best friends with the, the head cheerleader, but she always kept him in the friend zone and he like got bullied because he was really fat and that kind of thing. And then after high, after high school, he moved out to LA. He became like a, I think like a, he worked with like this, uh, mu this music producer and he winds up traveling back to the East Coast by chance and winds up reconnecting with the girl that put him in the friend zone and that kind of thing. And it was just like a, it's a funny movie and I just think people just didn't really tend to care for it and they thought it was some kind of stupid movie but I always liked it and um I think you should check that out I believe it is on Netflix if it's not it's constantly on like HBO On Demand things like that so yeah definitely check that one out as well that's all I have to mention uh, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video I really like talking about movies and TV shows and stuff so if you ever feel like you want to request any videos based on movies or TV shows. Um, I'd be more than happy to make a video like that. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you're not already subscribed and I'll see you guys next time.